Today, we will talk about how to prevent a house fire. Let's have a look at the details. House fires kill and injure thousands yearly, and cost many more their valued possessions and memories. Here are some steps you can take to lessen the chance of your home becoming a part of this statistic. The first step is checking the house. Inspect your home. You may need to recruit, or even hire, someone experienced in home electrical wiring, plumbing, gas, heating, and air conditioning to ensure that it is thoroughly inspected. Check the condition of your home's electrical system. Wear rubber sandals and hold a wooden sticker equipment to avoid getting an electric shock. Check the natural gas LP gas system in your home. Have the gas plumbing, pipes, valves, and regulators inspected by a professional anytime you smell gas or suspect a leak. Check the air conditioning and heating unit in your home. These systems operate with electric motors and air moving equipment which requires periodic maintenance. The second step is checking and safe use of household items. Check your appliances. Keep your stove and oven clean, especially watching for grease accumulation. Check stove vent hoods, clean the filter regularly, and make sure that it is equipped with an exterior vent. Check the power cords for your appliances and replace or repair them if defects are found. Keep the lint trap and outside vent clean in your clothes dryer. Lint or other material collecting near the heat coils in clothes dryers is extremely dangerous. Be very careful with space heaters. Keep flammable materials a safe distance from portable heaters. Avoid using extension cords for air conditioners. An overheated cord is like an out of control electric heater. Maintain your fireplace correctly. Inspect the firebox for cracks, damaged sheet metal, and other hazards. Keep flammable liquids away from ignition sources. Keep gasoline, paint thinners, and other highly flammable liquids or materials in all approved containers and out of the house. The third step is kitchen safety. Stay in the kitchen when using the range for cooking. If you are leaving for just a minute, turn off all the burners on the range. Don't cook when drinking alcohol, using drugs, or when too tired. The fourth step is taking care of daily activities. Don't sit or lie down when smoking. Standing up will usually prevent you from falling asleep while smoking. Take care when drying laundry on errors or dryers by the fire. Try not to do this unless totally unavoidable. Dry clothes by radiators or outdoors if possible. Be careful with candles, oil lamps, and other open flame illumination or decorations. Use caution with holiday decorations, particularly Christmas trees. Natural Christmas trees are highly combustible when they become dry. After using matches, quickly place in or run under water to extinguish any invisible flame. Unplug hair straighteners, curling irons, and other similar appliances after use. The fifth step is outdoor safety. Do not pile up lawn clippings near a building. Fermenting lawn clippings can create heat and catch on fire. Be careful using a grill on a deck. Decks are flammable. The sixth step is pet safety. Crate train dogs. Use the crates when you are not home and when you're not awake to prevent new dogs or puppies from chewing on electrical cords. Confine new cats to a safe room and no electrical cords. And the seventh step is installing fire prevention tools and teaching fire safety. Install and maintain smoke detectors. Look into the possibility of installing a lightning protection system in your home. If you live in an area where lightning is a frequent problem, consider having a home sprinkler system installed. This can be used to extinguish fires both when you are away and at home. Teach your children not to play with lighters or matches. Thanks for watching this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel if you like our videos.